hello everyone happy sunday so we are back again today and now i have my sweet little yasmin for you guys today and she is like trying to drink this water but i have this hole in this nipple like really wide so it will come out kind of fast if I push the bottle too much. Um, but usually she drinks it. So I have Yasmin and I decided to do a drinking wet feeding with her today. Because I have not done a drinking wet feeding with her in a while. It's been a long while. I think the last time was on camera. Well, possibly it could have been off camera. I'm not sure, but I know it was a, a good while ago. So I wanted to do a feeding with her on camera and change her. And I know a lot of people love little Yasmin. So that is why I wanted to come and do a little video with her today to share her with those who love seeing this little one. I get that so much on my instagram especially um where people will see her picture when i post her pictures and they say that they just love her and how beautiful she is and that she's their favorite baby in my collection so i figured i needed to come and do a video with her right yasmin and she is jess I mean, an amazing baby. <laughs> she is just, she's not only just beautiful to look at, she is just so cuddly to hold. Like when you pick her up, she just feels so nice. Um, it's because for me, I love chubby babies. And this baby is definitely a nice chubby baby. And she is just she just feels so good her silicone feels nice when you hold her she's soft and she you just don't want to put her down type of thing when you hold her um and all of my babies have a nice feel to them when when i hold them um and i guess that is why the three silicone babies i have currently i say they are keepers um, that would be my Gabriel and my Layla and this little one. I love how all of them feel when you hold them. So they are not just like nice where I look at them. They are just, they feel nice when you hold them. And all of them feel different. That's the funny thing about it. None of them feel exactly the same. Um, I would say out of the three of them right now, Yasmin feels the like the heaviest to me. But I just love how she feels when you hold her. You definitely know you're holding a baby when you hold this little girl. <laughs> she feels just like a real baby when you're holding her. The weight of her and her head and everything. She feels so very realistic when I'm holding her. And also... What I, I don't know if I ever said this on camera since I had Yasmin. Um, and if you're new to my channel, Yasmin here, she is the Tate prototype by Claire Taylor Dolls. And she is a full body silicone baby girl. Um, and as I said, I'm doing a drink and wet feeding with her so she can drink and wet. She is a one piece pour, meaning there's no no ball joint or anything in her neck um but since i've had her she just like when i look at her paint the way claire taylor painted her is amazing her painting the details the skin tone oh my goodness she has such a pretty skin tone and it looks so realistic the, her her coloring I just love, love, love the way this baby is painted. So I, and I don't know if I ever said that 
I mean, you can see it in her pictures, how pretty her, her coloring is. But even in person, like, she looks just as beautiful in person as on camera or in her pictures. Um, she looks so lifelike and realistic. And she is just really painted so, so pretty. Like, I just love her coloring. So that is my little girl here. A definitely another cheaper baby for me. Like I'm getting to this place with my babies. Um, as I've been saying, my silicone babies and my vinyl reborns, where they like the ones that I have, I want to hold on to. Definitely they are like keepers for me and that also brings me to a scary place. It's like a place of contentment, but at the same time, it can be a scary place when you get to that point in your collecting where you're like, okay, I don't want to let go of anything that I have. I want to hold on to everybody I have. And for me, I find that a scary place because financially like i said i always like sell to buy so that is going to limit my buying if i'm keeping you know what i have i i'm not wanting to sell anybody that i have right now um and also eventually i can't, i don't have like space to keep adding in babies either so that's why i say it brings me to a place i'm at a place of contentment but also a scary point in my collecting um, like I said, this new milestone that I've reached um, where I'm just not wanting to let go of anybody at this point. I'm going to stop feeding her. She's gobbling it all down. She had about four ounces because I had it on five and she's almost done. Um, usually, yeah, her drinking wet system works very well. <laughs> She has no issues with drinking and eating and wetting, right, Yasmin? She does a very good job at that, as you can tell. So, you can kind of see back there this fullness and the little line on the diaper has turned green there. So she is definitely in need now of a diaper change. And I always love to burp my babies, as you guys know, that watch my channel as they eat even my re my vinyl reborns. I burp them as well. I guess it's just, just a natural thing. When you feed a baby, they must burp afterwards. Um, that just comes from my, I guess, the mommy in me from my real children. And my real children were all spit up babies. Like all of them spit up. They all had reflux. So I was like constantly burping, burping. And you would have to like stop it, like every ounce that you fed them and burp them. So I'm like, I have to burp my dolls as well. <laughs> it is just like natural. I have to burp and I always would rub my baby's back. So I do the same thing to my dolls. It just comes naturally to me to do this. Um, so yes, they have to burp too. And definitely my drinking wet babies, I like to burp them because sometimes the water needs to go down. So when you burp them, it helps the water to go down. Um, so nothing is kind of sitting in their drinking wet system in there. So definitely I burp them. Sometimes they actually burp. You can hear the air come out also. So yes, they actually need to be burped as well. <laughs> just like a real baby. They are so, so just ultra realistic. These dolls, ultra, ultra realistic. And look at this one. She is just too, too adorable. Just look at her. She is adorable. So now we're going to change her. All right, little girl. Say so you're going to get changed. Um, So I brought her this gown over here. And you know, I had a sleeper over here too. And I put it back, but I should have kept it over here. 
because I don't know if this gown, if I'm going to like this gown. But we'll try it out. And I've had this gown for a while. Never put it on the baby. Um, and you kind of tie the knot at the bottom. And I don't know what kind of material this is. I don't know if this is that bamboo material or if this is something else. Because a lot of them are made with that bamboo material now. And it's really soft and like stretchy. And it's all white on the inside, even though it has black on the outside. And it has these pretty flowers. And I love flowers. And then it has the little head tie that goes with it. I don't know if I'm going to put this on her head or not, but we'll see. I might just end up getting her a, a regular headband to put on. Or no headband, I don't know. I'm not sure. Right, Yasmin? And I didn't really want to dress anybody up as I'm changing them. I'm kind of dressing them down instead of dressing them up. Um, because they were all like getting dressed up all of the December, it seems like. So now I'm just wanting them in some regular little outfits or sleepers or a nightgown, something comfortable. So that is her wet diaper. As I said, um, her drinking wet works really well. And that was a size one diaper. Um, sometimes I like to put the size one diapers on them when they're going to do a drinking wet because it holds more um, liquid in it. But this is a size newborn now that she's putting on a Huggies. Um, usually she wets everything out when she's eating. I don't know if she has a reservoir because some of these babies like mine, Layla doesn't wet everything out at once. You have to like kind of check her afterwards for at least an hour or so and make sure she doesn't wet more and you have to change her diaper again. I'm not sure what Yasmin, I have to pay attention today and see if she wets any more after I put this diaper on her. And I'm trying to think, do I want this t-shirt on? Because I had put this long t-shirt on her underneath her, um, the outfit she had on because it was that dark burgundy color. She probably could wear a t-shirt under this gown. It looks like it has enough room in it. And again, I have my camera where I cannot see what minutes I'm at. I did not place it correctly again. So I don't know where I am. So this video might be a tad bit long also because I can't tell what minutes I'm at. And there goes the head tie. So also in this video, I wanted to talk about how I noticed for myself and I've talked about this before in videos, how in this hobby, you be having like a plan of what you want and you're so sure about it as far as like what babies you want and all of this. Or you could have babies in your collection and you say they're keepers and you don't want to let go of them. And then all of a sudden something changes and you suddenly and you you end up letting go of a baby that you just swore you would not part with. Um, not saying I'm parting with anybody else right now, but it's just to show how you could you could be so sure of something in this hobby, and then all of a sudden your whole plan changes. I don't know if anyone else does that, and it could just happen all of a sudden from one day to the next with me how I could be so sure of something and then boom my mind changes <laughs> my want changes my plan changes um just like babies that I've sold like Gabriel for instance my Andrew by Claire Taylor how I was so sure okay I'm ready to part with him and then the next minute, I'm like missing him and want him back. And that has happened with that baby twice already. He's come to me three times. I let him go twice. 
So that's why I said at this point, I'm just going to try to hold on to him. Because every time I try to part with that boy, I end up missing him and I want him back. So I think definitely with Gabriel, I could say he's a keeper, baby, for sure. Um, But it's just like, even with my Zadia, my Matthew that I recently adopted out, I did not think I would part with him. And then all of a sudden, that Willow came out, <laughs> the Willow Awake by Claire Taylor, and boom, you know, I was letting go of my little Zadia, just like that. You know, within minutes, you know, that changed for me when I saw the Willow Awake prototype that Claire Taylor released. It's been like maybe two weeks now, I'm thinking. And, you know, everything in me wants, you know, wanted and, you know, wanted to go after the, you know, the new Willow. And the same thing happened before when the Willow Asleep came out. That's when I sold Gabriel during that whole deal. Um, and thank God I got him back. But again, now, not saying don't anyone get confused. I'm not saying I'm ready to let go of anybody right now. I did let go of Zadia, Matthew. Um, and he was the only one I was willing to sacrifice. Just him to get a blank Willow Awake kit when they are released and so i did part with him and i was pretty sure on what you know what i was doing and what i wanted to do and all of that and now again things have changed for me guys just like that within the past few days not very long a couple of days I have kind of a different, huh, how do you say it? Like, I'm not sure if I want to go after the Willow Awake at the moment. You see how that changed for me? And just a few days ago, like everything in me wanted to go after, you know, the Willow Awake, the kits when they come out. I still definitely want to paint a, you know, a whole silicone blank kit for myself this year. That is still a goal. But now I'm not sure do I want it or will it be a Willow Awake prototype? I mean, a Willow Awake blank kit for me. I'm not sure. Maybe it could be I end up getting a different blank kit. Um, because now I don't know if I want a Willow blank kit. So that is where I was going with my conversation. Um, just so you guys won't be shocked if I don't get one, if I decide not to go after one. Um, and I will explain a little more on it, you know, for or you will you will get to understand as I discuss this in the next video. Um, like why did I all of a sudden have this sudden change of heart and that's how um in this hobby for myself anyway i am constantly having like just changes that you know one minute i'm sure i want something and then the next minute i'm like okay i don't want that and or you could bring a baby home and you're just sure you that's what you want and then all of a sudden no you want something else or you was planning to get a certain baby and then boom, all of a sudden, no, you want something else. So it, that's what's happened to me at this point. Now, what did I do with that little bow? I know I picked it up. Here it is. Um, But I might take a picture afterwards, after I finish the video. Um, Let me see, can I get this on her head? <laughs> If I can't, I'll put it on afterwards and take a picture and I'll put it up as the thumbnail so you guys can see how this little tie works. Because this, you actually have to fit it yourself to the baby's hair or head and then tie it yourself. So I don't know. Might have to fix it off camera. And I don't know if it should be a knot tie or a bow. 
not sure about this. <laughs> they had it with a little knot like. I tried to make a little bow. I don't know how that's looking for me, if I like it or not. But I might fix it better afterwards. We'll just leave it for now. And then afterwards, I'll try to fix it. Or we'll just get her another headband. This is a um, size 70. I'm not sure what size a 70 is exactly. But it's a little big on her in the neck area. But it fits all the way down pretty much to her feet and everything. It's just kind of big in the neck. But it's perfect for cuddling. Because that's what I want to do. I didn't want her like in nothing dressy dressy. Because she just took off an outfit. So I didn't want to put her in like another outfit. But anyway, I will continue this discussion a little more. So you guys can understand where I'm coming from and why my change of heart or and i'm not saying i don't want a willow i still kind of want one but i just don't know if it will be right now and or when or whatever i'm not sure it's kind of up in the air at the moment i'll i'll explain it a little more in the next video you'll get to see what i'm what i'm talking about where i'm coming from what happened all of a sudden guys what happened <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for why the ch sudden change of heart on the Willow Awake blank kit for me. And I will see you in the next video. So thanks for watching.